So this is what I bought. A 1938 DeSoto Deluxe Berliner. $6,000. The interior has been completely restored. Oops. This vehicle is 85 years old. Unreal. And it has that Art Deco design to it. Just love that. Now, this car being the deluxe, it does not have a radio. It does, however, have a heater. And you have a lighter and an ashtray. It feels like I'm sitting inside a snail. I was going over a lot of stuff here. The previous owner. Their name was Linda Krifschoffs. I, I don't even know how you pronounce that, but their name was Linda. This is all the things that they did to it. All these numbers here is everything that they paid for. All the parts, the whole drivetrain's been rebuilt, the whole engine, the glass has been replaced. This car is an old restoration. Molding cup clips, where they were purchased. Miscellaneous items. The kind of oil, the filter type with number. All the times that they've had it changed. In 1978 to 79, it had a rechroming that was $735. They had the engine done, so they had the engine rebuilt, the journals, the crankshaft, everything was redone. Motor was rebuilt in 1982 at, uh, I don't know what that says, World's, World's Motor, $991. And tires are 6.0 by 16, those are pretty small tires. Upholstering. They paid $1,022 for this. Replace the window channels. Carpeting has all been done. They kept track of the fuel economy. Miles per gallon, they managed to get 19 miles per gallon. The place was in Cookshire or Cookshine. I don't know where the hell that is. But yeah, this is all the miles per gallon from the 90s, 80s. Oil pressure gauge. Number of the person who 
wired everything up. So this car would have had asbestos wiring at one point, so all the asbestos wiring has been removed and replaced. Um, the dashboard is pretty much all there. It's missing the, um, this is kind of, I guess, a temperature, temperature gauge. You have your oil pressure, your amps. Fuel gauge doesn't work, but you know, just stick a, a stick in the gas tank and you're fine. Speedometer works just fine. Odometer works. And that's the mileage right there. I believe that to be accurate. Heater core has been replaced, so it has a new heater core. Lower motor works. This car also comes with an extra glass window, three more in the trunk, plus all brand new parts and stuff. You have the operation care of your new DeSoto. But yeah, this was the service economy plan. The different dashboards that you had. You have your parts list, your parts buyer's guide, parts buyer's guide is uh, again, so you can look through this book and say, hey, I need part number so-and-so for step molding or a rocker or whatever. Shop manual shows every thing about the car. And this is a DeSoto S5 Berlin model. Entire headliner's been redone. Windows work. This window's a little bit finicky because you can really hear something binding in there, but that's okay because I have my entire part supply in the trunk. I got a spare tire in the back, a fire extinguisher in case there's a fire. And in this box you have all replacement window cranks and regulators. You have replacement fuel cup. Hinges, belts, hubcaps, everything. Not to mention a can of bolts. I will have to spray the car for uh, stuff to keep the squirrels and the chipmunks and the mice out from it because there are little drain holes in the back here and you can guarantee that a mouse will fit through there. I still have to get it in to get it certified so that won't be for a while. But yeah, the trunk is solid. I still have leftover gasket material from the Cadillac, so I'm gonna replace the gasket that's missing here for the trunk. Yep. Yep, I have a whole bunch of parts from the Cadillac that can be reused, all rubber and stuff. Yep. Totally a Bonnie and Clyde car. Closing the trunk is quite a pain because 
you kind of have to use a lot of strength there just to do it. And that locks like that. It's like a Volkswagen on steroids. If you kind of look at it like that, it looks like a Beetle. <laughs> yeah. Not bad for $6,000. It's not every day that you buy an 85 year old car and it comes with a new interior, new engine, new transmission, new electrical system. Now, there is surface rust on the engine, but this engine has been replaced. And wouldn't you believe it, a car this old doesn't even leak a drop of oil. Not a single drop.